And his videos are insane. Like some of the. That thing is probably. All right, guys, we're out here. So today's a chill day. We got some washing to do run some errands and then we're gonna explore the Neller Grove. That's over by Yosemite. It's about a mile south of Yosemite. Um, we have a campsite reserved so for tomorrow night. So we're gonna go into Yosemite tomorrow um, for most of the day. Then we have a nice little campsite to go to. So um, yeah, chill day. We're here in Oakhurst, small little town, but I'm glad they have the basics and uh, to make some food later. Yeah, chill day. Something might happen though. I don't know, we'll see. here at Bass Lake making some burgers. forgot to mention the fact that Oakhurst and Yosemite experienced an insane storm over the winter. It looked like the end of the world. Surprisingly, no one was killed, but I had to get footage of some of the damage. All right, guys, we were out here. The magic continues. We met a really cool guy uh, named Mike. 
and we are up here in Neller's Grove camping with him now. Um, we got out here just in time to catch the sunset. We're all set up, ready to go, no rushing. It's really amazing. You know, it's kind of the magic that's happened on this trip, just running into other cool people and people that are kind of looking for the same thing we're looking for on the same vibe as we're on. So just hopefully this vlog is encouragement to you guys to go out and like follow your heart, do what you want. And if you want to meet other good people, just believe that it can happen and it will happen because we're proof of that. And um, when I started this trip, I had no idea that this kind of thing was I knew it was possible, but I wasn't expecting it. And but I believed in it. It's what I wanted and it happened. And it's it's definitely helping me out with my journey and transitioning into a new chapter in my life. So um, good vibes out here, man. This has been a really, really incredible trip. And now we're out here going to start a fire. <laughs> Jeff's rolling a fat blunt over there <laughs> so he can get some sleep. And we are just living life, guys. We are living life. Super thankful. Right, guys we are up and on our way to Yosemite to have a really awesome day so we're trying to get on the road so we can get there and get back in time um, but I'm excited let's see what today the adventure today holds guys we are out here on the upper falls hike uh, not much to see it's pretty much just a grinder straight up a granite pathway um, but you know the view at the top should be unbelievable excellent workout so we're doing it and yeah that's where we're at right now All right guys, so one of the good things about this hike, besides the fact that the views are amazing, is that once you get up past a certain point, the wind starts hitting you. So if you got your shirt off like me here, you're gonna get a nice cooling breeze, some fresh air, keep you going, because it's a trek. This is the part where most people stop. Very few people complete this hike. They should change the difficulty from hard to brutal. No one that we started the hike with completed the hike with us and only about 30% of the people I saw on the entire trail finished the entire thing. At one point I thought this was where it finished but I was completely wrong. We had two more hours of hardcore hiking to the top. Shout out to this lady, she had to be at least 80 years old. I know for certain that she made it to the top, but I'll be completely honest with you, I have no idea how she made it down. 
I was a little worried for her a few days after. I hope she made it. We're just taking a quick break here. This is definitely a strenuous hike. You gotta focus and push up to the top, but it's totally worth it. Get you in a really nice spiritual zone. Um, we're almost up to the top here, but yeah, just taking a break, enjoying the views. We finally made it to the top. I must say this is definitely a strenuous hike. Completing it is kind of like a spiritual experience and it's well worth it. I highly recommend it if you're up for it. Definitely bring plenty of water and a snack. Once you get to the top, the temperature drops at least 20 degrees, which is nice if you're feeling overheated. If you started this hike early, you have plenty of time to relax, recharge, and get yourself ready for the climb down because it's not an easy one. And that wraps up our hike and our time in Yosemite. I'm really glad I made it out here and completed these really two amazing hikes. In regards to the Upper Falls hike, the views were incredible and the accomplishment of completing the thing was a mean feat in itself. If you're up for a real challenge, I highly recommend it. We ended up leaving the park the day Yosemite was going to start requiring reservations just to get in. As usual, my timing was perfect and I felt like I was at the right place at the right time. The journey continues.